Alright folks, I'm back. And um this time I'm taking a different route back home. Actually. This is where I'm walking here, this is Mount Carmel Recreational Center. And as you can see, well This is where most of the kids around here hang out. Or at least, for the most part, how many kids actually live around here. Around this area. <sighs> what it's worth though, as you can see, Where most kids live around here, and they want to actually, you know, be in a safe environment. It's a nice, small recreational center. Not as bad. I took a detour from um, from the main path which I'm heading back to now. And um I'm a little bit more calmer and a little bit and and I feel ten pounds lighter in the process. Uh, side note. On a side note, from where we're walking to now, or from where I'm walking to now, you're just watching. If you would see over there, I don't know if you can see it from here, because I got zoom in on. That burger joint is. Tom Jr.'s. I don't know about you, but they have the best damn chili in all of Southern Los Angeles. Yeah, you can see right there, it's called Tom, Tom Jr.'s Burgers. I mean, it's cheap, affordable, and I've actually had a very date walk with my girlfriend when she was actually staying with me for a while. Forgive the glare in this video. Nothing I can do about me walking past as this is in my head back home. As I mentioned before, I was rather hot today because of what went down. I thought it was a, just a normal everyday work day with me and my and my um, siblings. Apparently, as I mentioned before. They're considering moving. They, meaning my folks, are considering moving. But I'm against the idea on account of 
my mom's health. You see, I'm very concerned about my mother, my mother's health. And I'm pretty sure you, you will be too, if you are in my situation. After all, she just survived her third stroke, and her going back in the hospital would be more than likely a very bad thing. And the last thing, <clears throat> last thing I ever want out of all this is her to have a relapse. Relapses are never a good thing. Yo. I hate people like that. I hate really For someone to ask, you know, I just got out of prison. Could I spare a couple of bucks? I couldn't even spare a dollar to you, let alone one dollar. Sheesh. People somehow? I don't know. I think my my um viewpoint on people, especially in the inner city, you deal with all types. You deal with those who need something and those who want something. And I mean need it because they really do need it and they have to have it. I mean what they do from here on it's completely a different matter altogether. Of course I don't really care. Like if I was a billionaire, I wouldn't mind trying to help place a few people out that really do need some money, considering they know what to do with said money. As compared with people who say, "Could you spare me a dollar?" I couldn't even bum a few dollars. I couldn't even, you know, bum a few dollars from you. And then you're just getting just because you don't have a ass for People are tough, I think, sometimes. It's like. I take after my mother as far as generosity goes. I really do. I, I can I can perfectly say this right now. I do take after my mother as far as we have similar traits in generosity. The thing I but the big difference is I just don't allow people to take advantage of my generosity. And Consider, hey, I can get away with murder because this guy's a schmuck. He's easy. He's simple. I can manipulate him. Yeah, you know what? I've been through a lot of relationships like that, and um, yeah, that ain't happening. I mean, 
thing is, I don't mind helping. What? When you say something beneath your beneath your own breath, just because you ask me, like I'm the only person in in this world that can actually save your life. Need I have to go on? And as you can tell, I am taking my sweet time coming back, I mean, going back to my house. Take my sweet time. And hopefully you two don't like me for saying this is popular material. Yeah, I can't help it, but you know. Things happen. I gotta walk past all this mess. And as you can see, LA 50 is on the scene. As always. And sadly, the trick is, as long as you don't look at them, they won't ask you for anything. But the thing is with me, when I was in that situation, my situation was different. I chose to be homeless for a couple of years. I mean, for not a couple of years, a couple of months, a couple of weeks, maybe less than that. But in any case, I had to do what I had to do. Can you do? That and me getting killed, or me just surviving, just for the sake of escaping. So as we're heading back to Tenkai House. Yeah. 
Everything is so hard for me to think about right now. All things considering. The last thing I ever want to do for a start this year is think about, hey, we're moving! We're moving because of this. I'm sorry, but I'd rather wait until my mom is 100% better before we actually think about even considering to move. I'm sorry, her house, her house should be a high priority. Not high priority, a top priority. That's the thing with me. I mean, I can find all sorts of things, but I think I've said this before, but I'm a family oriented man. And my job right now, as far as anything else going, is to make sure that my mom is still on this earth. And regardless of what that old, of what, regardless of what that old fart knocker has to say, I know that I can feel, you know, he's undermining the whole operation of us trying to get things in working order. I can't shake that feeling. My gut is telling me otherwise. My gut is really telling me, you know. I should keep an eye out for him because he's the one. How you doing, Dougie? He's the one person I had to really look out for because he can do some very sneaky stuff. Like, I'll explain about the other day. Well, it's, well, my mom and I were asleep. Okay, and um, this was, uh, of course, uh, New Year's Day. Well, it's around, though, maybe one or two o'clock, I believe. I think it was one. Nothing was on TV that I would actually, that I would say deemed to be watchworthy. If you count the three stooges of marathon. But I digress. Wasn't really in the mood to watch some TV. You know, Boomerang, there was a Scooby Doo marathon. 24 hour Scooby Doo marathon. 3, 2, 3, 3 a.m., 2, 3 a.m. From the first to the second. All that just because they're going to change up on the scheduling on Boomerang again. Because Boomerang is not like Cartoon Network. In which they announce their changes, their schedule, the schedule, the changes of their scheduling. Whereas Boomerang, they shuffle, they have they tend to shuffle a lot. And I, like I said, didn't, didn't think about it. Didn't think about watching. And even if I did, it wasn't really worth watching because they were mainly reruns anyway. So what happened was the old man didn't consider the fact that, uh, you know, I'm asleep. And even if I was asleep, he could have easily knocked on the door, told me I'm going to such and such. I'm going to such and such, tell your mother, at least. 
you know, have some decent to cool tell. You know, just to tell people, you know, tell the people you live with where you're going. Like, I would tell them, okay, I'm going to McDonald's. I'll be back within the hour or so. I mean, I'm, I really do. I really do leave for McDonald's. It takes me an hour. Just, it takes me an hour because I'm just sitting there catching up on some writing with my novels and whatnot. And what I do, and what I do there, is um, simply that: just write my write in my novels and do a word search after I feel I I, I did enough. He left, didn't say a word. Then when he came back, he he basically he basically just up and left us. So the other thing I did wake up because my mom was struggling to walk and she didn't have her on a brace. I don't think she had on a brace. But in any case, I was there. So yes, a lot of, th lots of things I just don't like is, you know, you sneak off and don't say anything. I mean, that's bad. That makes you think you just don't care. But then again, I don't know what the hell he does, so it's like, oh well. You know, doing something like that in that nature, you know, you just don't do that. That's just saying, you know, I don't care about y'all. And all this because of one of our dumbass roles is dead. You know, he's he's one of those kind of people, you know. Cousin, uncle, something, 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 whatever the hell you is. Well, the thing is, the thing is, he's in jail for drugs. The car that my mom once had. It wasn't Acura. And it could run and could run like the dickens. Well, it's no longer what it is. It's scrap now. And being that it's scrapped, well, it's no use in actually getting it now. So, therefore, it was just a mess, but again, could at least tell what he was doing. And here in the distance you see my cat. I don't know if that's my cat. Because my cat always has a tendency to leave the house and then whenever I come back, poof, there he is. Like I said, I don't really like people who just have a tendency to do that. There he goes. He's, he's off on another wild little adventure. That much rocky. That's the reason why when he's there, we know he's there. But in any case, I have reached Tenkai House. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. And like I said, I prefer to take care of this place as long as as long as it takes. Whatever that doesn't look right, it can be fixed. Thank you. Yeah.
That's my life. And however it pains me to do it, there's no place like Tenkai House. I've been the Tenkai G and I've been off the headset. <laughs>